Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. So tomorrow onwards, like within 10 minutes, the IIT Jan counseling for 2025 session is gonna start. So I used to receive so many messages, so many texts and so many doubts regarding uh, the counseling, which rank uh, is eligible. So everyone can apply for counseling. But for today, I am gonna discuss about for like the opening and closing ranks for the past year admission list. So uh, say for example, if you belong to this range, uh, plus minus five rank or some, and like uh, as per these ranks, uh, I you will you can get an idea whether you should appear for the counseling or uh, you should not. It won't be worthy. So uh, without further ado, let's start. So as you can see uh, here, there are so many admission lists here. So of course you there there will be many lists depending upon the number of seats. So say for example, uh, if in the first admission list, all the seats get filled up with the aspirants, so there will be no second list for the admission. But usually it doesn't happen. Usually up to three admission lists it is mandatory i mean not mandatory it's naturally that three at least three admission lists will be there so let's start okay so i'm trying to okay so yeah uh, i'm opening the first admission list so as you can see, here are the opening ranks and the closing ranks. So this is the open rank for general category and this was the closing rank. So as you can see in the first admission list, if I, if I uh, zoom onto this list via IIT Jam BT, IIT Bombay May for MSc Biotechnology, the closing rank was 17 for the general category. It means if you have rank below 17 and you belong to general category, then it's highly likely you will get MSc Biotechnology from IIT Bombay. And IIT Bombay also offers a, another program named MSc PhD Dual Degree in Environmental Sciences that, it, that is also via uh, IIT Jam BT. So for that opening rank, was, opening rank and closing rank were same, that was 84. So if you have uh, like your IIT Jam rank below 84 or 84, it's highly likely that you will get MSc PhD at IIT Bombay. Similarly, uh, you can see it for EWS category. Uh, the closing rank was 104. It means the person who had 104 rank in IIT Jam and it belonged uh, to EWS category, he or she got admission in MSc Biotechnology. For OBC, it was 56. Below 56, they admitted in the first admission list. And for SC category, the rank was 395. For ST, 619. And you can see for the general uh, category, but uh, physically challenged, physical disability. Uh, so it was 158 for the general and uh, 2037 for the OBC. So similarly, you can see the cutoffs for different uh, classes. So as, so in general, if in the general category your ranks should be below uh, you can see if you want to get iit indore below 48 for iit rudki below 45 for iit delhi below 24 for iit bombay below 84 uh, for msc phd program and for iit bombay msc biotechnology it was less than 17 so also you can see for the ews category 66 I mean, it's totally uh, random kind of thing. It, it, it is totally chance-based thing. Uh, say, for example, from 1 to 10, nobody applies for the counseling. Let's say, if in 2025. So, there are high chances that uh, the people who have, I mean, lower ranks can also get uh, these uh, degrees in the first admission list itself. So, it's totally chance-based who apply for the counseling. Uh, what are their ranks? There are so many factors affecting these things, but still you can get an idea that if you belong to OBC category and you have a rank below one, 178, you can apply to the counselling. It, it makes sense. 
and for the sc category i i can see highest uh, rank for the iit roorkee in the first admission list was 533 so there is a chance that you can get a college for st uh, 1706 was the highest rank in the first admission list for iit so yes so let me summarize this for you in the first admission list for general category if your rank is if you want to get into msc only from either bombay delhi roorkee or indore uh, i mean biotechnology and allied uh, allied it's uh, what to say these programs that like biological sciences biosciences bioengineering so these are allied areas of biotechnology so if you belongs to general category then uh, be, if you have rank below 84 there is chance that you will get your uh, i mean your uh, short listing your name in you we will get admission via counseling so it makes sense if you are from general category and your rank is below 84 you can apply uh, and for ews if you have rank below 206 you can apply as per this admission list if the cutoffs and all these things go uh exactly the same as it was in 2024 there are so many other lists as well so let me tell you those also uh for obc uh if you have below 178 so let me not discuss this msc phd this thing is creating a lot of confusion for you so let's talk about only msc so just ignore this thing if you are not interested in phd so okay uh, let me do it again quickly yeah so let me mark it once again for general category highest is is 48 so if you want to get only msc thing so for general if your rank is below 48 it's highly likely that you will get your name in the first list itself and for the ews it was 206 it is totally chance based maybe it is it could be possible this time or maybe not so yeah but you it's always good to have idea from our past things so here it is 135 less than 135 and for sc i could see 533 here and sc ka less than 533 and for st you can see this is the highest 1706 okay let's move to the next list that is the second list so if i talk about the second list in second list you can see uh let me remove this degree because since say if you are not interested in, in it so here in the second list the closing rank for general category IIT Bombay MSc program it was twenty four for IIT Delhi MSc program thirty two for fifty seven ah uh, I for IIT Roorkee it was fifty seven the closing rank for the general category and for IIT Indore it was sixty four so for now for general category less than sixty four you can apply name is in the second list and I could see this as the highest. for ews category 249 rank and for obc 130 or uh, 169 for sc 651 less than 651 and in the st this 1791 so yes so i hope this was the second list there is there was a third list as well so for the third list yeah uh, okay this time no let me read yeah so let me clear this one first also this cuz you are not interested in this yeah so for bp less than 24 for general category if your rank is less than 24 you can apply i mean you can get iit bombay so the highest i could see is 72 even the person in from the general category who has their rank as 
less than 72 or even 72 they they got the admission and for the ews same 269 in the iit rudki and in the iit delhi for obc it was 171 for obc less than 171 you have a chance you can apply for st category i could see 651 here so less than 651 if your rank is less than 651 or even equal to 651 there are chances that you can get a iit and for uh, st 1807 uh, 1829 yeah i hope you have got a little bit idea ki tumko apply karna chahiye counseling mein ya nahi karna chahiye so based on the last year's things you can decide whether you should apply or not if your ranks are in these ranges then you you should apply see now uh, the cutoff for the general category has increased to 77 so if the, you are from general category and your rank is in this 77 wala range then there is a chance that you can get iit for ews 281 if your rank is in this range 200 to 300 then there is a chance you can get iit for obc if your rank is in this range like 180 wala range then you can get iit as per this 2024 data for sc category uh, this 651 i guess seats have been filled so for st it was again 1829. So yes, I think you have got an idea. This was the data from the fourth admission list. There was a fifth admission list as well. So these number of lists depends upon how early the seats got filled. So say for example, so many people didn't, didn't accept the admission and there are still uh, vacant seats. Then of course uh, the list keep on coming and there is port admission that anyone can go and uh, like they will give admission in the last round this is fourth round if there are seats okay so for general category see here it is 82 now for msc program i am not considering this phd thing this is a dual degree i am not considering this so 82 for general uh, for ews it was 281 again so if you are from EWS category and your rank lies in this range 280 wala range then you can apply be, be below it and uh, I mean less than it and also within this range then you can apply there are there are chances as per the last year's admissions for for OBC again it's 187 for SC uh, 654 for SC, ST category 1829 I guess there is nothing much change in the fourth fifth admission list now there was a last round of admission that was this uh, sport round so the fifth admission by the time fifth admission list came most of the seats were already filled so there were only few seats left in these programs that is the iit rookie uh, this msc program so general category ka closing rank was 93 and 91 so the conclusion is if you are from general category and your rank is below 100 or even 100 then you can apply the conclusion is this and if you are from ews category and your rank is below 200 you can apply same applies to the obc category because you can see here 211 wala person got a iit in there okay so for sc uh, for sc category if your rank is in this range 600 wala range you can apply and uh, for st category if your rank is in this range 1800 wala range you can apply so this is the final conclusion as per the 2024 counseling results so they may change this time the cutoffs may go little up or may go little down so this is totally chance based thing how many students apply so still there is a general thing ki if somebody is from general category and their rank is below 100 or 100 they can take a chance for the iit jam counseling and if somebody is from ews category they uh, and their rank is 200 or 
in this kind of range they have a chance for obc uh, also it is 200 for sc 600 for st 1800 like this is the range i am defining as per the 2024 counseling results counseling admission results okay so yeah this was all about this video and at the end i would like to tell you a little bit about uh, another options if you want to pursue a career in licenses but you somehow are uh, not eligible i mean you you don't see applying for I, iit gm counseling worthy so there are so many other options i have already created a video on my channel you can check out what are the options other than iit gem so you can get a iit degree even without iit gem so there is an exam named gat b so you should appear for that exam also uh, plus i there is a platform named cybits and on cybits we are offering gat b test series at a very nominal cost so the link is in the description you can go and you can uh, like purchase those test series and boost your gat b preparation so with this i would like to end this video thank you so much for joining wishing you the luck wishing you a great career ahead see you soon in the next one